Hey everybody, what I want to show you today is, in my opinion, shocking. Shocking because what I'm about to show you has not been allowed in over 20 years. We're talking construction that has taken place in 2024. This is in a very high-end neighborhood and the municipal inspections have passed. Okay, what I'm referring to is on this new construction wood frame and they've taken a veneer to and below grade. This hasn't been allowed in a very very long time and yet here it is. So what I want to do for you now is show you this video and then at the end I'm going to show you the code and the codes that apply both in Florida and the IRC to this. Now one thing in the video that is kind of funny uh, you've got this wood frame column that is supported by two CMUs laying on their side. Now I know that's, that's funny in and of itself, uh, but that's not the point of this video. But the moral of the story being, even though you're buying brand new construction in a high-end neighborhood and the municipal inspections have passed, does not mean that you're purchasing something that is code compliant. That is not true. Watch this video and I will show you the codes here afterwards. And so as we walked around the house, the EFS goes below grade to and or below grade everywhere. The whole house, the front everywhere. This particular one, it's exposed and we've got a wood frame with EFS. If you can tell, uh, there's literally two blocks, one there and one here. If it'll focus. There you go. And that's this is all wood frame underneath here. And this will eventually be below grade. Where do the termites go? So in this following chart, you'll see, apart from any ASTM or manufacturer standards, the Florida Building Code and the IRC. Now you'll notice back in the 2001 Florida Building Code that it was required to uh, keep uh, finishes on wood frame construction six inches above grade. That was in chapter 14. In the next um, code cycle, they it specifically mentioned uh, EFS and maintaining a clearance above grade there in chapter uh, 7 where it also included the same language as it did in chapter 14 the cycle before. If you go back and look in the IRC in 2000 it's in chapter 7 it specifically mentioned the EFS clearances and in the subsequent um, code in 703 again it specifically uh, again mentions the EFS but also talks about uh, clearances above a weep screed so you can argue there you know there, there's a good argument to be made there that uh, that's what they are referring to is uh, a, a weep screed on a drainage plane type system stucco type system on on wood frame um, construction in the current code sections it's still the same still found in seven chapter seven in both the IRC and the FBCR for those I just wanted to go back in time back to when the Florida Building Code was first put out back in the very very early 2000s and as early as the uh, 2000 <clears throat> IRC that these requirements have been around for a very very long time and yet they are still passing municipal inspections now I think there's also an argument that could be made in the codes that say thou shalt build with water resistant construction methods to keep water out. Uh, the, there's another one, well let me just read this one. The exterior wall envelope shall be designed and constructed in a manner to, that prevents the accumulation of water within the wall assembly. Okay, I think there's an argument to be made there that when the veneer extends below grade it can wick water up, cause damage to the interior wall assembly. Just my opinion. I'm sure there are a lot of other standards and uh, references. This is, again is apart from any ASTM or manufacturer specific in installation instructions. This was just a very quick easy video for me to go look up in code books and portray to you. So if you're buying new construction I highly recommend getting a professional inspection. Thanks for watching and uh, appreciate your likes and subscribes.